The Bible also says that we are to deny all ungodliness, all ungoodliness, all unlovingness. God has given us the Holy Spirit to help us. Look at the text again. The Spirit also helps our infirmity. For we, the intellect, the conscious reasoning level of mind, the intellectual man does not know what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Now, there's something else you need to practice in prayer. You need to practice letting the Holy Spirit pray through you. Sometimes the Holy Spirit will pray through you without a word being uttered. Sometimes the Holy Spirit may pray through you in other tongues. And we need to permit the Holy Spirit the opportunity to pray through us in his own way. See, because praying isn't always giving. Well, I don't think that you need to pray to give God information anyway. See, I think some people think that the way you pray to give God information. Lord, you see how they're doing me. <laughs> Lord, you see what he did. Lord, you see what she did. Lord, you see jobs are hard to get. Lord, you see I ain't got no money. I'm sure glad you can't show God all of that. Because God would be in the same fix you're in. <laughs> you see, when you pray, you don't pray to make God see what you are seeing with your human vision. You pray so that you can see what God sees. You don't pray to give God information. You pray so that you can get some information from God. <laughs> the infinite mind doesn't need your information <laughs> because you've got bad news. <laughs> That's why God sent Jesus with the gospel, the good spell, you see, because you had the bad spell. <laughs> so I mean just scratch it off of your list I don't need to pray to give God information say that and write it down I don't need to pray to give God information I need to pray to get information from God and you see the Holy Spirit will even do the praying through you so that's why it's good in prayer sometimes to be yielding to the Spirit and to even let the Spirit praise through you so that you become a vessel of prayer, a vessel of communication with the God in you, a vessel of praise. Because the intellect doesn't always know what it should pray for, and you know that. Many times the intellect is just completely puzzled, like the $6 million problem that I told you that I had some three years ago. And so, as I permitted the Spirit to pray through me, the Spirit gave me this verse of Scripture. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. And the Spirit said to me, okay, stop puzzling your brain about it and just go forth loving God. And this situation will work out perfectly. And it did. And God gave me the steps. He showed me what to do, told me what to do. There I was down on the floor, pumping iron, exercising, praying all at the same time. And I wrote that verse of Scripture on that paper, and I pasted it up there, and it worked so well, I haven't touched it yet. And the people who work around me, they know better than to move my papers and stuff. Some of my floors, room after room, just filled with papers, but they know better than to touch them. This is hot stuff on these papers. <laughs> All right. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, 
because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Prayer must be learned and practiced on levels deeper and higher than the intellect. Now this is very important, ladies and gentlemen. Ask the Holy Spirit to pray through you. Permit the Holy Spirit to pray through you. Listen when you pray. Say, as one of the prophets said in the Bible, Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. Say it again. Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. But you see, so many people, when they pray, they're so busy telling God they don't know what to do that they can't hear God telling them what to do. You don't give God a chance to get a word in edgewise. Oh, Lord, oh, blah, 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 blah. God's trying to get, God would give you the good news if you would shut up giving the bad news. When I say that we are to pray on the subconscious level, I mean below the intellect, in the heart, in the deepest feeling nature. Feeling gets the blessing. The prayer that is felt on the deep subconscious level of mind in the heart is communicated by the spirit to the superconscious, the superpower of God in man, the superpower of God in mind. And you see, this is what we want to do when we pray. We want to communicate with the deepermost, highermost God. We want to communicate with the superpower of God that is in us. And this is how the Spirit itself helps our infirmities. The weakness of the intellect, wherein it does not know how to pray or what to pray about. Have any of you ever had a situation you really just didn't know how to pray about it, didn't know what to pray about it? Well, you see, this is wonderful good news for you. Let the Spirit pray through you and know that all things work together for good as you love God. Let's stand now and do the prayer treatment. And before we leave, we're going to have a prayer circle. I want to emphasize this again. I want you in your private devotions to practice this lesson. Don't let it stay on this sheet of paper. Don't let it be just something you heard me say, but put it into practice. It's a wonderful thing to learn how to communicate with God in the Spirit. You see, because when you tap into the God in you, you're tapped into all information, all of the information that you need. And God will bring you into contact with all who and all that you need for every good purpose. You see, the original computer is the subconscious mind. That's the original computer. The other day I wanted to remember somebody's name, simple thing like that. And I said, subconscious mind of God in me, display to me the name of this person. Just like that. It came up on the screen of the, of the conscious mind. So get in the habit of asking the God in you for guidance, for information. Get in the habit of letting the Holy Spirit pray through you in its own way. And you'll be surprised what a beautiful relationship you'll get established. Here's the prayer treatment. Let's do it together. I now set my mind apart for God. And God, alone, and God alone, for good, for good and, good alone. and good alone. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit pray, through me, pray through me according to the will of God in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is a good starter. And then give the Holy Spirit the opportunity to do this. And the more you practice this and the more you do this, the better you will become at it. You will be able to do it anytime, anywhere, any situation, and you'll be continually and constantly guided by God. You may be seated.